What's up, everybody? Uh, so, like I said, let me shut this because it's raining now. Uh, I promised I would go through and just make sure, you know, the expectations, what we're looking for in terms of this uh, public policy research paper. And again, like I've written on a few of the notes that you may have seen, or if you haven't, this is what it is. This isn't a high school term paper. This is a public policy paper proposal. So we're trying to prove something. So we're trying to show some insight, but we're also trying to create something for people to buy into. So it's very different than what you're usually used to writing in terms of basic English essays and things like that. Um, so there's a lot that goes into it, so you really need to put a lot of effort into it. This is not an easy project, even though you may write less, this is actually probably harder, which is why we're doing something like this. Um, but let's look on the screen here. So I'm using someone's paper right now. You will have had this document in there. It's the one that you're all working on at the same time. And if you go through, you have everything there. Uh, what you notice below is I put the example, what just, I believe, something looks like. So if we go down to focus area here, for example, uh, the highlighted area right there, let's switch it to green. Okay, so we're going to say that's a focus area one. That would be the title of it. All the stuff below it there is what we want to write about it. It doesn't need to be three pages long, but it probably should be more than a sentence or two. Um, this is probably on a low end, but this would be acceptable. The whole point is we just want to explain that focus area a bit, so why we think it's important in terms of homelessness in L.A. County, uh, things like that. Here's what I put for introduction, just kind of explaining things. What you're doing is an introduction. You're setting up, and you're making it exciting for the audience to want to read it. Um, so don't just say, you know, homelessness is massive in L.A. County. Yes, we know that because we know we're sending it to this homeless agency that knows it's a big deal. So you want to create something that gets people involved in that one. Um, you can use research in that if you'd like, but again, make it personal, make a connection with the audience. I would put more research in the focus area around there and how you would do that, which is why we did the research document before. Every group has their own research document. I would incorporate the stuff that you have in there over in your focus area. I would try to put some stats, try to put some personal touch showing that you know what you're talking about when you're proving it in that one. Uh, and as we go down, conclusion then, we need a conclusion. Uh, it should be a paragraph. It needs to be, could be more, uh, but it needs to be a summative, a summation that we're, we're putting an end to what we're saying and we're again reiterating or re-clarifying what we said in the policy paper ahead of time in that one. Um, so from here though, we go back up and we start looking at things. What you'll notice is on the right side here, I leave comments. So whenever you do stuff, I'm doing comments for you and your job is to look at them and address them and understand them. You can reply to it or you can click this button that says marked resolve. So marked resolve means you fixed it. If you don't want to do that, you can do a reply to me. That's totally fine in that one. Um, you can reply down there like that as you and then it'll go to me and I'll answer the question back. But if you're done with it, just click Resolve. That way I know, cool, they fixed it. Let's get going on it. Um, so you scroll down and you see a lot of comments I write there. I'm just trying to help you, push you in the right direction on it. Um, yeah, so what else do I want to explain on that one? Goals we have clear. Four goals we need minimum. And goals are what we're trying to bring about or what we're trying to change in that one. Um, so this is probably the longest goals I would want. They need to be short to the point. Uh, but don't just say help homelessness with community services, right? That's a little vague. We want it, what type of services? What type of help are you gonna get? And like I wrote on someone's, are we painting pictures in the park? Is that a community service? Or are we providing toilets? What are we providing? So be a little more descriptive and concrete in that. Uh, go down here, same thing, just referred you to the example. We just wanna write more about our focus areas. The last thing though that I did change is funding. We're gonna change this one to timeline. So what we would do is we would put, I made these boxes for all of us. So in solution action, you could put, um, let's do the restrooms, restrooms in every city for homeless use. And then what you would do, your time span, you could say, we want to take this, this is probably going to be the first three months of our plan. We're going to roll it out by month three. We'll have restrooms in every city. That's the goal. So that's the time span. Uh, we need five of these, and these tend to stem from your focus areas and goals, but these are the five things you're bringing about that you're trying to do, and you want to tell us the time span. Uh, my recommendation is I would put them in chronological order, so the one you're going to start with, and then the last one would be the one that you finish with. 
if they run at the same time, that's okay. Just put them in there, and we'll work it out. But that's how we would do that, Tenet. Um, what else is I'm reading through it? No, make sure you have a picture. We need to have a title in terms of your title, what you think. Make it catchy, make it fun. And then your group down there. So obviously this is helping through the arts, which they've done a good job so far. Uh, just keep adding to it is my ultimate goal. Last thing I will say here, um, so on homelessness, when we're talking, we want to grab the attention. So general, in general speaking, not even homelessness, when we're writing a policy paper, the politicians or the people reading it, you're not going to go past a few sentences before you decide, should I read this or should I not? So make it good and really invest yourself to where we feel drawn in to wanting to read it. So that's why the first two sentences are super critical in introduction for a policy proposal. That's it. God, I talked fast, but I beat the six-minute mark. That's good. Uh, any questions, write them on there, because then I see, since you shared it with me, I can see and I can address them, but also read my comments and resolve them, because I'm trying to help you here. Uh, the project is coming to a completion soon next week, and we're going to do the podcast on Monday. So you need to start chipping away at this slowly, and that's the whole point of this. Any questions, send me a remind, ask me. But a lot of us are doing good. Some of us are a little behind, and we need to pick up the pace. However, that's why we spend days and weeks working on this, so it's not all one thing at once. But I believe in every one of you, and I know we can do this, so let's put out a good proposal so we can send it and hopefully make some change. Because if learning is all about real life, so I want to see some real change, and a lot of us have some great ideas. So let's keep going. Enjoy the rain. Be safe.